When most soldiers hear the words traumatic brain injury, they think it's a career-ending wound. But here at Fort Hood, soldiers with a TBI may have a chance to return to their units through a program that provides treatment and training. As an occupational therapist at the TBI clinic, my goal is to be able to see how the soldiers have integrated their treatment through their training. So from an occupational therapy standpoint, we look at their function. The biggest part of the soldier's function is returning to duty and being able to do their soldiering skills, whether it be weapon control, um, timing, response, cognitive, being able to read the map and communicate among the other team members. So those are the factors that we're looking at. I, my aspect of, of care is looking for dizziness or balance problems. And some of the overlying things that could exist is neck pain, back pain. I usually don't treat patients for neck pain or back pain in our clinic, but dizziness and balance problems that could come up as they're going through the simulation. And so in that simulation that we were watching, um, the patients that are the soldiers that are more likely to have problems with dizziness or balance, more likely the gunner, because the gunner is up top and he has to turn around in the turret, is moving around from side to side, has to turn his head from side to side to try to acquire the targets. Um, so I'm kind of watching the gunner primarily, but also trying to keep an eye on the driver or the other people inside the truck, see what's going on with them. Through interactive digital simulations, soldiers are being closely watched for difficulty performing their warfighting tasks. About 90% of the soldiers that go through the Warrior Readiness Assessment Program return to duty with their units. Uh, with a TBI injury and you're coming out here trying to get as real as you can with uh, other TBI patients, uh, you can see differences in how each of you react and then you can learn how to, how to build off that and uh, get back into a position where you want to be. If a soldier isn't ready to return to duty, the program also allows caregivers a chance to see what areas may need improvement. So if we're taking someone through the RAP program and we're going through and we find out that they, we've actually identified problems, whether it's a physical aspect or a cognitive aspect or a psychological aspect, if we are able to identify they actually aren't fully qualified in something or they would fail that aspect of it because they still have some problems, then that might trigger more therapy. That might tell me, oh, you know what, you still actually do have a dizziness or a balance problem and we need to work on that a little bit more. With the proper care and training, a TBI might not be a career-ending injury. Reporting from Fort Hood, Texas, I'm John Miller.